What's doing everybody? It's Andy from Hangry by Nature and today we're going to talk about 12 things you should know about before visiting Japan. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to follow our smart travel guides for families. Let's do it! First up, in Japan you don't have to tip. They believe that good service should be the standard. Be careful trying to tip as some Japanese may find that offensive. Anyone who visits Japan will undoubtedly come across many and visit many, many, many convenience stores. 7 Eleven is just one of them, and we're going to show you guys everything you can get inside a convenience store. It's amazing. Well, we pop into a convenience store at least once and grab something. The, the choice there is amazing. The food actually tastes really good um, and it's probably a very cost effective option, especially for any traveler who wants to save a bit of dosh. When you're in Japan, don't eat or drink while walking on the streets. This may be odd, but it is to respect the streets to prevent any litter, cleaning up or accidentally walking into anyone. Don't be like this loud and obnoxious fool. Japan is all about respect and includes respecting other people's space. Talking loud is considered rude. Same idea behind the don't eat and drink while walking. It's about keeping the streets clean. You'll notice that there are hardly any rubbish bins around. It's sometimes a mission just to find one. In saying that though, Japan has the cleanest streets I've ever seen. Make sure to take your shoes off when you enter a Japanese person's home or even your homestay or Airbnb and things like that. The toilet here right here in a separate room and you have to wear toilet slippers to the toilet because um, the Japanese believe that it's dirty to wear toilet slippers outside and you're not allowed to obviously go barefoot into the toilet because the toilet is considered a dirty place you anyway, know I've forgotten to wear it on a couple of occasions that I've worn it into the uh, into the kitchen and stuff on other occasions so oops sorry so we're staying in an airbnb in pretty much all of japan but in osaka the one we're in right now and my number one prerequisite for all the airbnbs that we chose was that it had this kind of toilet i call it a robot toilet because it's got all these cool buttons that you can press and i have no idea what it does but we're gonna test it out bear with me Okay, I'm guessing that's a butt spray for after you've done your number two Z's. And that's a female spray for, yeah, you know what? I don't know what these buttons are. We're gonna test them out. Cash is king. Japan is a very cash-based society. They generally spend within their means and banks charge a lot of different fees. Crime rates are so low that it doesn't even really matter if you carry so much cash with you. There are ATMs and businesses that accept credit cards. You just need to make sure you double check. Food is so amazing in Japan, but there is a lot of MSG or in Japanese, Ajinomoto. MSG we know is an age old debate that's been going on for a very long time. We believe that if it does cause you some discomfort, don't have it. It's just similar like um, when you have like lactose or gluten intolerance. But if it's all good for you, go hard while you're in Japan. They have the most amazing food and you don't want to miss out on it. Just remember to make sure to drink lots and lots of water because MSG makes you really thirsty as f Expect really small spaces for local eateries. Just check out this ramen place, which by the way, they had awesome ramen. Do you think we could fit a pram through that gap? Got it through just barely. 
That was small, but there are plenty of even smaller places. So this is a baby change room, family room, inside a shopping centre. And when you walk in, it literally feels like you're inside a spaceship. Because look at like there's all these things that you can pull down and all these plastic things and diaper changing paper. And then they've got this like hybrid urinal slash sink. Like I personally think it's a urinal because there's a flush button and it flushes. But Andy reckons you can wash your baby in here. And um, I'm a little... I don't know about washing a baby in there. That's like toilet water inside. Yeah, you don't dunk the baby right <laughs> inside. You give them a rinse when they've done a poo. Uh, yeah. I, I'd feel a little bit hesitant doing that. Right? And then they've got like a mini sink here. And a sink. And there's just so many elements to it. I mean, without a doubt, it is definitely one of the most family-friendly countries. They've got everything and they literally think of everything. Which is really great. I'm just trying to figure out what this hybrid urinal slash baby bathing spot is. That's a wrap everybody. Hit the like button if you guys like this video. Smash that subscribe button and fist bump that notification bell. Now we want to know what the hell is in that bathroom? Is it a baby wash or is it a urinal? Tell us because Tina and I, we just can't work it out. Is anyone from Japan that could tell us? I don't know. Everybody take it easy. I'm out. Peace. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry.